Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic, where we are in the Star Forge and encountering difficulties. Yes! Which is, we're addressing with a potion rush. Oh. Our last remaining character. Ooh, caps lock. Advancing forward. For war. Advancing for war. Yes, that's what we want to do. We want to advance for war. Let's wait a little bit and see if we can get Juhani's force recovered. We used, ooh, 140. Oh, hello. Hello, friends. You're not going to get all, are you? Thank <laughs> you. 
it's really amazing that doesn't take people off, kick people off. What? This is Star Wars. Why aren't people falling off the edges into the dead? For the order! Yeah. Oh. Oh. there, Juhani. But it's, it's less of a prediction when you're doing it in the middle of a combat and charging at someone with an active lightsaber. That's less of a prediction or a premonition than more of a promise or a threat. And I think actually that's probably what you intended it to be as. Okay. Let's back up a little bit here. Let's not trigger whatever combat is on the other side of this just yet. Level 20. Level 20. And level 20. They both recover at about the same rate. just my character has so much more force okay almost there let's save while we're waiting I know that delays the the thing but it prevents me from having to redo sections We are in urgent, dire necessity of stopping Basil's um, battle meditation. We need to hurry. Let's just sit here and wait until we have full resources. But we need to hurry. Yes, I know. Hurry up and wait. Hello, Bastila. That was an interesting run at me, then teleport to city, then stand up and walk toward me. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. I'll never give up, give up on you, Bastille. I know you can still be safe. You're wasting your time. I've seen the Jedi for what they are. Weak and afraid. The Sith are the true masters of the Force. You've forgotten that lesson, Revan. Now you must pay the price. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the Dark Side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. Of course, this is going to be a... Solitary duel. They're going to be locked behind there, aren't they? There, take that. Now, when Malak followed you, even though you're only a shell of your former self, you're still a formidable opponent. I can't even imagine the power you must have wielded when you were the Dark Lord. You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light you side. You that I spent the first, like, what was it? 
Uh, that was uh, it was technically several rounds, though it didn't it did it in less than six seconds. I guess six seconds a round would be kind of boring. We look for a very slow fight. Not very in Star Wars appeal. But you notice there that I went through four um, four in, uh, augmented uh, potion things, and I also did uh, three force powers before I ever took a shot at you, and then I just obliterated you. I literally stood there and haphazardly let you beat on me. I even took a thing to do a, a major heal on myself. Haphazardly set, I just sort of sat there, like blocked, and let you hit on me while I powered up, and then I went through you. I am as strong in the light as I ever was. As I, I ever was for you. The dark like, side has made me stronger than I ever was before. I have a greater command of the Force than all but the most powerful Jedi Masters. As Malak teaches me the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there'll be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. Mal Malak will never let you become that powerful. He will kill you first. He will accomplish death and destruction. The dark side, nothing else. Jedi propaganda. The dark side is only a tool, and Malak will train me in its use. Eventually, I will surpass my master and challenge him. If I am worthy, he will die by my hand. Then I will take on my own apprentice, and the cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most worthy. Yeah, except for, you know... There's no guarantee that the person who betrays you will be strong, actually stronger than you. They just might... I've, I've gone the, done this ramp before. That is the whole thing of you're the farmer, you collect the best seed and eat it instead of putting it, using it to grow more seed. Because the way you do it, the way it would be in real life is you find the best, healthiest seed in the crop and you use that for the seed in the next crop. What they're doing is they're eating the best seed. So if Eventually, their crop gets weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. So that's, yeah. No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. You are dooming yourself to a... Oh, look at that. All my... Ah, Boris, all my buses are gone. <laughs> Your strength falters. The light side is failing you while the power of the Star Forge re-energizes me. Soon this will all be over. I have not faltered fast, Bastila. You have been misled by the dark side. The dark side will always triumph over the light. Malak has assured me of victory. You can't defeat me here on the Star Forge. You can't. So you've been reduced to a... What, what effects are on you right now? You've been re oh, what is this? I think that is a light side bonus. You've been reduced to a child throwing tantrums now. Interesting. Dark side by the fact that she was less logical. This is not possible. Light side. You have rejected the dark uh, side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? Now you see the dark side is not stronger than the light. Yes, I see you speak the truth. I am no match for you. Please, for the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my life quickly. There is no other way. There's no need for me to kill the best. What other choice do you have? I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. Ah, this is a last-ditch effort to convert me. You can reject the dark side, Basil. Return for No, me. I am not strong enough. There is too much anger inside me now. Too much hatred and fear. I can no longer find peace in the Force. Turn to the Dark Jedi Cove Bastila can help you. 
I doubt mere words can help me now, but to appease you, I will recite them. There is no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. Strange, but even now I find comfort in these words. I suppose old habits die hard. There is no death, there is the force. Thank you, Revan. I am ready to face my fate now. Look into your heart, Basil, and we'll find the light. I know a flicker of the light still burns within me. Malik felt it too. He knew it could only be extinguished if I killed you. But what good is a single flicker of light against the sea of darkness I am drowning in? I can never atone for my betrayal. Um, Bastila? Riven was an even greater betrayer? I guess the, the whole destroying her mind and rebuilding her makes her a completely different person. Okay, this will atone for what you have done. Yes, I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not make up for all I have done. Yet it would be a step in the right direction. But how would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? How do you know the dark side wouldn't make me betray you again? I trust you enough to leave myself open to your attack, Bastard. You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my lightsaber. You won't, Bastard. I know you still serve the You are brave, and some would say foolish. But you were also right. The dark side has not wholly consumed me. I cannot raise my blade against you. I should stay here, though. If we face Malak, I am afraid his dark presence will overwhelm me. It would not be wise to expose myself to such temptation. You could use your battle meditation to aid the Republic. Yes, that would be for the best. You don't need me to defeat Malak anyway. Now I understand that a true Jedi is a match for any Sith even the Dark Lord himself. I will stay here in this chamber and use my battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet. I am their only hope of destroying the Star Forge and ending the Sith menace. The you must go and face Malak, but you have centuries. to hurry. Once I turn the battle in the Republic's favor, we won't have much time to escape the Star Forge before it's destroyed. Good luck, and may the Force be with you. Oh, no, no, no. Damn cutscenes coming out of nowhere. Fair. A break in the Sith formations. Green Squadron, move in. Green Squadron, moving in. Okay, so once again, I really wish the cutscenes recorded. There are some truly good cutscenes, beautiful bits of animation, great star battle, great star battle there you just missed. But. As I said, every time I try to record them, the game crashes. So, no, I don't want to load. That would be stupid. Ah, uh, final countdown? No, battle. Let's see. Door. That's a door. Let's see which door is which. Oh, it's just me. Aha! Type B spike bit. Ah, type A. What is this? Generator in act. Type E. This is going to be some sort of Sort of puzzle to get to the last fight. I tire of this. 
this game, Revan. You have been a thorn in my side from the moment I seized the mantle of Dark Lord from your feeble grasp. You made a mistake coming here, Revan. The Starforge fuels my command of the Dark Side. You are no match for me here, and this time you will not escape. It is you who cannot escape, Malak. Surrender the Jedi might show mercy. Is that what you call it? You think stripping away your power and your identity was an act of mercy, Revan? I would rather die. I'm safe from the darkness, Malak. You can be too if you wish. Spoken like a true slave of the Jedi Code. Save your preaching, Revan. I will have none of it. You are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have surpassed you in every way and accomplished what you never could. I have unleashed the full potential of this Rakatan factory. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master, I will let the Star Forge itself destroy you. to go to the next video. See you in a moment.